uh, his highlights as he led the Heat to the NBA Finals in his first year at Miami. Five-time All-Star Jimmy Butler, welcome to the jump. Thank you for having me once again. Larger than life, my friend. This is uh, this is how you are after that NBA Finals appearance. Yeah. <laughs> I want to take you back to the bubble for a minute. Before the playoffs even started, you and I sat down and you told me you were going to the NBA Finals. Not a lot of people agreed with you, but you had total certainty. It obviously paid off. What is the biggest lesson you learned from all of that and that whole experience? Uh, that the, the group that we had were very capable of making it to the finals and competing. I think that those group of guys realized what we could do and I'm hoping that the group that we have now uh, realize it too. Um, I definitely miss the guys that we had, but um, I'm grateful for the guys that we brought in. So Jimmy, fill in the blank for me here. The Miami Heat get back to the NBA finals if blank. Uh, if we do what we're supposed to do, play together, not listen to everybody on the outside, which I preach every single day. We're not worried about them. Um, let's lock in on us and uh, play the, our best version of basketball that we can. We'll get back there and we know what to do. How do you notice the confidence you have in these guys spreading to them so that they believe the way you believe? Uh, I just got to tell them every day, show them that I'm, I'm so appreciative of them. The work that they put in, I have all the confidence in the world in these guys. I do. I'm going to continue to give it to them. Confidence is, is what those guys need, and uh, that's what I'm here for. And then I'll just, you know, get in where I fit in. <laughs> well, you're backing it up. That image of you slumped over the stanchion in the NBA Finals, just giving every ounce of yourself. There's not much time for you and the Heat to recover from those moments from that Finals. Training camp's already underway. Your first regular season game is in less than two weeks. How do you feel about the short turnaround time and how it's going to affect you guys? Uh, I think everybody's going to be a little bit tired. <laughs> you know, we're, we're at a, the same disadvantage everybody else is at. And like I always say, nobody cares. Um, nobody's picking us anyway. So tired or not tired, uh, we still got a job to do. We still got to go out there and prove that we can compete with the best of them. We'll be okay. Have you noticed that, that no one's picking you? Has that caught your attention, Jimmy Butler? Oh, I don't have to look at, uh, <laughs> I don't have to look at any media outlet to know that. You got some really good players that are much better than I am coming back. KD, Kyrie, Steph, uh, Kat. You know, a lot of guys that was out are coming back. So I'd pick those guys over me too. Wait, you would pick those guys over you? Or if you were in the media, you would pick those guys? Or are you currently picking those guys over you? Those guys over me. Yes, I would. So if I'm betting, I should bet against you? I, I always thought that was dangerous. Do you want to win or you want to lose? <laughs> That's up to you. <laughs> well, our staff noticed that you liked a post on Instagram from Bleacher Report that said James Harden has added the Heat and Bucks to his list of preferred trade destinations. I that. I think that's what, what did you like about that post, Jimmy? Uh, I like his hairstyle. <laughs> that's it? Hair. Like little dreads, some braids. The beard looks well nourished. I, I, I like the post. What do you think of what? the idea that James Harden might want to come to Miami? Uh, I mean, there's a there's a lot of stuff always in the media. Um, I think that he's a hell of a player. I like the group that we have. Um, and I mean, I, to tell you the truth, I just want the guy to be happy. I think that's that's what life is about. That's what um, the, the game is about. And yeah, so what? I like the post. So on that tip... You know what it's like to be in that situation. You wanted to trade out of Minnesota a few years ago. We all know what mm -hmm. happened next. Have you gotten any flashbacks when you've been hearing about what's going on with James and the Rockets? Nope, no flashbacks for me. I'm where I want to be. That's behind me. That's the past. Uh, I'm here. I'm locked in on the Miami Heat right now. I'm telling you, I like James. He's a friend of mine. I just want him to be happy. I do. Well, let's talk about your Heat teammates then. Fellow All-Star Bam Adebayo just rewarded with that cash, that max extension this past well offseason. Well Did you give Bam any advice when he was going through the process or after he signed the deal? Uh, no, just look, man, you know where you want to be. Um, you know that we need you because you're the, you're the engine, you're the key. Um, you've won us so many games, and uh, if we're healthy... 
I mean, who's to say that we wouldn't have beat the Lakers in the finals? We'll never know now, but uh, hopefully we get a rematch at that. But I'm so glad that he got that bag. He deserved it. He's, he's worked so hard each and every day, and he's, he's always making everybody around him better. Well, Jimmy, I cannot end this interview without asking about the bubble's most successful business, Big Face Coffee. Big Face you, Coffee. you told me before we left Orlando, you wanted to make this a real thing out in the world. I, I heard you've got a special delivery today. What? Tell us what's going yeah, on. Today, uh, I got my first little batch of beans. Uh, me, my trainer, James Scott, and one of my hometown guys, uh, Chase Bartlett. We've been putting in a little bit of work. You know, obviously this on-court thing is most important. My singing career got that. Dancing career got that. Um, coffee's next. So we're going we're gonna to put that in motion. I love it. And do you have a big face coffee stand set up at the arena there at training camp? And if so, is it still 20 bucks a pop for your teammates? Uh, I think the, the price is being talked about. We don't know. But uh, I think if we got to get a model, so I'm thinking Gordon is going to be our first model for Big Face Coffee. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll take it from there. But it, it's it's in motion, and I think that it's going to be a big thing. Wait, is Goran going to have to walk a runway to show off the Big Face Coffee styles? How's it going to work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not paying him a damn thing either, but he's going to walk it for free, and he's going to love doing it. <laughs> I, I know you, Jimmy. I know you're going to be able to make it all work. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us. Our eyes will be on you this season for sure. I appreciate you. Welcome to The Jump. I'm Rachel Nichols. I'm going to be joined by Coach David Fisdale, Hall of Famer Jackie McMullen in just a bit. Coming up, Jimmy Butler is also going to join me to talk about reaching the finals last season, Bam Adebayo's extension, and of course, coffee. You know we're going to talk about coffee. Before all of that, though, we are starting The Jump with some breaking news. Our senior insider, Adrian Wojnarowski, reporting that Paul George and the Clippers have agreed to add four years to his contract an extension worth up to $190 million. This comes just a week after Paul said he wanted to retire as a Clipper. So now to discuss this further, the man who broke the story, Woj, welcome back to The Jump. How did this extension come about? Hey, Ray, it's good to be back. Well, Rachel, this was, you know, really from the time that the Clippers made the trade with Oklahoma City, you know, at the start of free agency a year ago. Uh, getting that trade in place with Oklahoma City uh, was really the, the final key to getting that commitment from Kawhi Leonard. I think there was an expectation you know, that Paul George wanted to be there long term. Uh, and this was a pretty easy contract for both sides. He got certainly you know, the max contract that he could get. He's committed now for five years, you know, $226 million potentially can have that player option in 2024-25, uh, but you know, this was for Paul George, a chance to come home to Southern California, a Clipper organization that's been built around he and Kawhi Leonard. Uh, and so I think it was a pretty easy one for the Clippers and Aaron Mintz and Paul George to lock this up. I think they started to talk uh, about the mechanics of the, of the contract here uh, in the past week once the Clippers got through free agency in the draft. Yeah, and look, if we think back to 2014, where Paul was after that horrible leg injury, people wondering if it was the end of his career. If you look at the amount of, I, I believe it's what, up to, depending on what contracts end up being worth, up to $290 million that he has signed since then, it's pretty remarkable that he has been able to build out that second half of his career like that and also shed some light woge on the Clippers and how much they gave up for Paul George if they are now getting him through this extension as well. It's not that he, quote, could leave after this season. You brought up Kawhi Leonard, though, because he is still in that position where he has an option to leave after this upcoming season. Does Paul's extension mean anything for Kawhi's future with the franchise? Well, it certainly, from the Clippers' perspective, makes it a lot easier to not have both players going in uh, to the possibility of free agency. Uh, but having Paul George locked in, you know, now for Kawhi Leonard, uh, listen, this was a, a plan that he was a part of. And listen, last season didn't end. The playoffs didn't go the way they wanted them to go. And certainly there's a lot on Kawhi Leonard and Paul George with the new head coach and Ty Lue to get this figured out and to have a team uh, that certainly at least gets to the Western Conference Finals and uh, a potential showdown with the Lakers 
Uh, they have ground to make up on the Lakers. There's no question about that. But there's been no indication that uh, Kawhi Leonard has you know, really any doubts about uh, the decision to be with the Clippers, you know, how they're moving forward. Again, just like Paul George, this is home.